Dear family, I've worked hard. I pushed. I pulled teeth to make you understand that life is not easy. In fact, it's hard. Nothing in this world is ever accomplished without passion and hard work. I showed you that the dream is not easy. Work hard. Live life beautifully. Love always, Michael. Who were you to Michael? Who am I to Michael? Um, I, I, well, sh I'd say that I'm, I'm his brother. He was my primo. I was one of Michael's best friends since um, elementary school when we first met. I am uh, Michael's cousin. Best, best friends, I mean, like brothers, really. It's his uh, younger brother. He's uh, one of Mike's good friends. It's his aunt. Michael's uncle. Um, I was Michael Jason Benavides' wife. And now, I'm his widow. Dance, dance, dance. I made it, I made it. I made it. I made it. I made it for the challenge. Your daddy loved me and Sophia so, 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 so much. Like, I can't even explain to you. There's times where I would see him just be with you guys and I'd be like, like that, that was his joy. That was, that was his whole heart and soul. Like, you know, he, um, you were like a little girl. He'd call me while I was at work and he'd say, or he'd send me a picture and it'd be like, <laughs> he had you guys baseball caps. He would dress y'all up as, as best as he could. And you guys would go do your little things together, and it was just you, Daddy, and him, to, you know, hanging out. He was always worried about how, how sensitive Hannah was. Oh, my gosh. She was so proud of you, Hannah. He would talk about how talented he thought you were, and, and he could tell that you had this... Um, you had this this talent in you. I know that he's looking down and I know that he is smiling. I'm sure of it. So Michael and I are are the same age with the exception of maybe a couple of months. I mean there were there weren't many things that we didn't do together, you know? Your, your, your dad, oh my God. We used to go out to South Padre Island and you're he was always up for anything, anything. I mean, he was never, it was never too late. He was never too tired. It was never too far. It was, I mean, it was just up for everything. Your, your, your dad was, like I said, he was the rock. Three, three, three months, three months afterwards. Three months afterwards. Hey, good looking kid, looks just like his uncle. Hey, how did the party go last night? He elated it. Yeah, not you. Pero stereo de Carlitos. I didn't find the guy. Depends on me. Yeah. yeah. I told you. This is from the house. Some seniors. They at the party. He had a party. Pero robaron the stereo. Yep. Did they take the apple pie? No, I'm just saying. He just loved everyone so much.
he would always tell me that, you know, Willie had no evil in his heart. He had no anger in his heart. They loved each other. You, you could tell the love he has. His eyes were wide every time he'd see Michael and vice versa. Michael would get real sensitive. You know, when it came to Willie, you know, Willie, Willie was his angel. That kept Michael going. He, he always felt like if, if Willie was on his side and he was going to be okay. And he truly looked at him as a living angel. Uh, Uncle Willie, someone up in the background. So, uh, show me with your hands how much you love Michael. Even further? Up to the moon? All the way to the moon? Oh, Michael loved Willie. Loved Willie. Like, it was a pair. The moment I fell in love with him was when I saw his interaction with his brother. I went to visit him. We were dating, and I went to go visit him at his mom's house, and he was just doing his daily routine with, with Willie, and he was feeding him, and Willie was just like, you know, loving it. And I was sitting on the couch, and I looked over at, at the table where they were at, and um, <laughs> he, it was just this connection, and I just thought to myself, wow, the love that he has. All the love that he has to give, like it's pure love. Michael always said that he felt like in, in the past life, there was a time where he saved Willie and that in this life, Willie was saved, saved him, you know. You with your daddy. Mm-hmm. And then there's um, beautiful mama and there's your daddy. It's a nice looking couple. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Michael was was bigger and better than he ever than he ever realized. You know, yeah, I I miss your dad a, a, a lot, a ton. I, I I wish, I wish wholeheartedly that he was, uh, you know, that he was still here and that we could, you know, just kind of just just share life, you know, share the 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 the, the stupid stories about you guys, you know. He loved everyone who loved him, and he loved everyone who didn't love him too. He still lives in me because he left me inspired to do what made me happy, and that's who he is to me now. He's, you know, he's still part of my life because he he lives in me and in, in the way I do things and the way I take chances and and. Yeah follow my passions you know I mean that that's that's important to not be afraid you know and your dad wasn't afraid I'm never gonna forget you you know you're one of those people that if you envision like dying and going up to the gates and meeting everybody. My dad would be there, Memo would be there, Tia Mina, Diorni, Robert, you. You're in there. So, hasta luego, primo, primo. We'll see you soon. We'll see you someday. Life is so short, man. That's why you always taught us how to live. Live, move, move fast because you just never know when, you know, it's, it's your day to go, you know. And I do feel like there's somebody... Uh, another guardian angel looking out for me upstairs so maybe that's good I don't know um nobody likes people that are close to them to die shock you know we had just had a beautiful day at the park you know the amusement park and uh I'm, i was talking to him throughout the whole time 
you know, I had a couple FaceTime, um, FaceTime calls and some text messages and just talking. And uh, I knew that he was okay. I knew he was excited about all his business adventures that he was doing, that they were kind of wrapping up. They looked good. I knew he was working hard. I knew he was in this real, real big high. So when we came home, you know, and we found him, it was just kind of like the nurse, the nurse part of me had to kick in, you know, and I had to just take, o take over. Everything was just kind of slow in a sense. I didn't know whether he was alive or he was dead. Um, I knew that my babies were right next to me and I didn't want them to see, but I had no one else to help, you know. Um, and I just, I just, I just kept on calling for God to help us, you know, and I kept on saying, Lord, um, whatever's best for us, whatever's best for us, whatever's best for him. I was in shock. I felt alone. I felt like the one person that was by my side through everything was gone, you know, and I had to just hug my little girls and tell them it was going to be okay, that we were going to, we were going to be okay. And, you know, we'll have to deal with that all our lives. But in a sense, I know that we're not by ourselves. I know that he's around us all the time. Like, I just feel him around us. Even right now, I feel like, okay, and to calm down. Don't get so emotional. You know that, you know, you live life good right now. You know, you're not, he's not with you physically, but he's around us. He's guiding us, you know. There was never, there was never a frown, and you know, Michael always found a way to to make people smile, and uh, you know, he was he was a good man and an even better father, I, I think. Yeah, he was such a character with so many personalities and so many funny jokes and nicknames, and uh, he's gonna live forever in our hearts, and you know, one day we'll all get back together and we'll. We'll, you know, celebrate all the beautiful things we did in this life, and you know, we'll... I talked to him. Um, it was football season, so I talked to him every weekend for the, you know, or text for the Longhorn football game. Not so much Cowboys, but I still send him text today. I don't know if you guys had the phone number, but I still send him uh, UT football text. So, I'm um, so he doesn't text back, obviously, but um, I still send him game updates, and uh, I don't know who's got that phone number now, but whoever's got that phone number. It's a lot of uh, UT uh, football score updates. Dude, it's cra I, I could I could see here. I could every memory is a good memory of Michael. That's how cool he was. You know, this guy. You know, I only knew Michael for. I'm serious, Hannah. I only knew Michael for maybe a week before we started hanging out regularly. You know, before I was like, "Yo, this guy is probably going to be my best friend." You know, he was that. He had that kind of energy, man. He made he made you want to be his his buddy. I think every memory stands out in my head as a good memory, you know. So what I loved about Mike, Mike, Michael had no uh, fakeness in him, you know. Mike was Mike 100 percent of the time. That's why I loved him. So would you say he was like your best friend at the time? Yeah, dude, my only friend. I feel like you're gonna have a hard time over here. I'm gonna mama.
romance with me. I want my arm about you. The charm about you will carry me through to heaven. I'm in heaven, and my heart beats so that I can hardly see. And I seem to find the happiness I seek when we're out together dancing cheek to cheek. Calm down. <laughs> give me a hug. Give me a hug. Okay. How you doing? <laughs> Laura, it's Mike. Call me back, cousin. Hey, cousin Laura. Please call me back. Call me back.